What's up guys, it's x 2 robbie 2 x here, and I'm back with some Minecraft modding made easy. And today we're going to be looking over um, new fuels for a furnace. Now, before we start, I want to say that I did try to make a new GUI, like a new furnace type thing. And let's just say, it uh, I think it had around 9 classes. So, I will not be doing that, because, I mean, I got it working, but... It's I'm I don't feel like explaining it and it's just I don't know. So what I did is if you go on my Minecraft forum um, forum on the first page I uh, marked off the GUI and you can see right next to it you can see um, a YouTube channel that has some guy that I found that pretty much does tutorials on GUIs like he has I think like 15 tutorials just on GUIs which is really awesome and he pretty much explains everything not just like the furnished GUI but like pretty much any GUI like all the menus and everything so make sure to check him out oh my ear itches alright so now that we got that out of the way I guess we are going to make a new um, new fuel source now we're going to be making a blocky and battery but for now it's just going to act as coal it's not going to be rechargeable just yet I'm still trying to figure that out I just wanted to get the fuel out. So, um, right off the bat, we're just going to make a new um, blocking battery. There you go. Make a new item blocking battery. Make sure it extends item. Give it a constructor that takes, you know, one int. And uh, just pass in the, the int into the super constructor. And set the max damage to zero. That pretty much means it doesn't have durability. But that is bound to change, like I commented in here. So that's all you need in your blocking battery. Now the next thing we are going to do is in our mod underscore blockium, uh, right here, we're, we're simply going to create a new item called blocking battery, new item blocking battery, give that new ID that uh, it's not conflicting with any, with any others, and just set item name blocking battery. That's It's really that simple. So now that we go into our constructor, we are going to right here battery um, simply just add a name we've done this so many times give it a uh, custom texture which you're gonna see in a second once we load this up um, I gave it a recipe I pretty much made like a chest um, like a chest with blockium blocks and I, I don't know I'm just getting like I'm just getting really confused with all these textures I mean with all these recipes because I just I can't remember them all and all like the testing recipes that I'm making and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much like a chest with the uh, blocking blocks, and it gives you a battery. Now you can make it whatever you want; it doesn't matter. So now that we have that, we want to go out of our um, constructor, just get get out of there, and then here we have our generate surface function out of there. Add render also out of there. So in the class, you're gonna add a, a method called add fuel. Now, if you go into base mod .java, it is the first method right after the constructor. So you can go ahead and copy this and just paste it in here. Oops, no, paste it in here. Make sure it's in the class and it's not in the constructor or anywhere. It's in the class. So now that we have this, um you will not have this part of the code but if we look under tile entity furnace here we can see like what the furnace takes like what the what the furnace fuels are so if we see coal right here it returns 1600 now this is because 200 is one cycle and coal goes through eight cycles of burning so you know it's it's 1600 because 200 times 8 is 1600 so you can just go ahead and copy this if you want or just write it on like type it yourself but make it if I the first parameter is equals equals and then you give it a blocking battery dot shifted index because it needs an int it needs to compare an int and then just return an, an int now I commented up here that uh, 200 is equal to one cycle so ours would go through two cycles before stopping I know this is kind of low for all the blocking blocks that we're using, but um, let's. I'm just gonna make this. I don't know, four thousand. So it goes through two hundred. I mean, twenty cycles. I don't know. I said two hundred. Um, 
But you simply save that. Oh, yeah, don't forget to return zero. You also need this. So, yeah, just uh, you can go ahead and save that. If we run our Minecraft. Now, I have uh, other mods loaded. I have this the solar redstone loaded. But I think this is my, yep, this is my blocking world. So, I already mined a bunch of blocking beforehand and whatnot. So, if we go ahead, and, is there anything in the furnace? Nope. So, we go ahead and make our battery. Is it a battery? I don't think it's stackable for now. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, we didn't set the stack size. So, for now, it's stackable. But um, eventually, I'm going to try to get the durability bar on there so we can recharge it. But if we put our blocking more in here, put the blocking battery in there, there you go. We use it as fuel. And as you can see, the flame is barely going down. Like, you can't even see it going down first block. So it it crafts 20 blocks each. So after that cycle is done with the two batteries, it's going to give us 40 blocking ingots. So, um... Uh, I mean that's that the fuel is pretty easy. We're gonna try to work on that battery. And uh, sorry I'm not releasing many videos lately. It's just I'm. I've said this before. I'm not like a pro modder. I'm not. I don't. You know I'm not pro. Um. So. I still have to figure things out and a lot of stuff that like they're just. I literally I spend hours on them and I can't figure them out. So sorry for that. But. Yeah I just. I can't do tutorials on something that I don't understand so yeah sorry about that and a lot of things are probably gonna get crossed off the list without me doing a tutorial on them but uh... Oops. but yeah um, I will still be doing like a tutorial on flowers and whatnot I can still probably do that and I'm also really busy as I've released my uh... solar redstone mod uh... yesterday and all that stuff so, um, yeah, I got my YouTube channel, I got school soon, I got a lot of stuff to just do, so I'm kind of busy, and I'm going to try to get as many of these videos as I can, but, um, yeah, other than that, uh, make sure to like the video if you liked it, put your comments down below, all your suggestions and errors should go to the, uh, Minecraft forum topic, which is going to be underneath, down, down here, down, down here, <laughs> Underneath in in ah in the description, so make sure to read that. Because if you will be sending me errors on YouTube, I will probably not answer. So that's that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.